Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, what I'd like to do is show you how to solve and graph a compound inequality. But I'm not going to kind of go through you know, a problem of actually doing that, because that's why we have all those examples in this course. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is just kind of go through a step-by-step -step example of how to solve and graph a compound inequality. So the first thing I would probably say is identify if it is an and or an or compound, in compound inequality. And a lot of times, compound inequalities say and or or. But not always. Sometimes we have an inequality you know, that looks like this less than or equal to 3x minus 1 is less than or equal to 5. Um, therefore, that inequality is an and comp compound inequality. So you need to make sure you understand the difference of the and and the or. And a lot of times, we'll just write out two separate inequalities um, as an and or an or. Now, the next thing I wrote in here is to separate the inequalities. In a compound inequality like this, you don't need to separate. You can actually solve um, using your operations just from there. But um, that's kind of a separate idea. I think if one thing, you know, a lot of students when I'm first teaching this or, and I want them to understand how to do this, I say create two inequalities. So here would be one inequality, and then you cover up the other inequality sign and you create another inequality. Then separate the inequality so you have two inequalities. Because remember, compound, you're having two of them that are being joined by a conjunct statement of and or or. So therefore, solve each inequality separately. Once you've solved each inequality separately, graph each inequality separately, right? Because you know how to solve a one variable inequality, solve it, and graph it. Then the important part is, again, bringing it back for that compound inequality. What we're going to do is we're going to have two in graphs, two inequality graphs. We're now going to merge them. And this is where it's become going back to very important to identify, is this an and or this, is this an or? Because remember, when we're looking for an and, we're only looking for when it's true for b the values that are true for both inequalities. Therefore, we're only going to keep the shaded region where both inequalities are true. However, when it's an or, we we're just going to graph both of the inequalities on the same set of uh, on the same axis. Therefore, we could have you know um, we could have one where they're going away from each other, going uh, toward intersecting each other, so we'd have all real solutions. Um, or you know a solution here or there. So it's very important to I identify what type of inequality type you're dealing with um, when you merge those graphs. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just a basic kind of step-by-step -step process for solving compound inequalities. Thanks.